Hi, welcome back friends. It's Steve the bartender. Today, I'm showing you how to make an Irish coffee. The Irish coffee originated from the 1940s by a bartender named Joe Sheridan. Bartender slash chef at the airport in Ireland. And for some weary travelers, he decided to make a spiked coffee. And in 1952, there was a writer from San Francisco that was traveling through the airport. He traveled back to San Francisco and told his friend Jack Kepler, a bartender from the Buena Vista Cafe about this Irish coffee. I'm pretty sure they make like thousands of these per day. You can even get a takeaway with a little bottle of Tullamore Dew. So a good friend of mine, Anders, sent me a bag of coffee so I could make this drink. So let's go to the bar. To make an Irish coffee, you're going to need Irish whiskey, sugar, coffee beans, and cream. So for the Irish whiskey, I've chosen Tullamore Dew. Reason being, this is the Irish whiskey that A, I have on hand, and B, the one that they use at the Buena Vista Cafe in San Francisco, which has popularized the Irish coffee in the States. I'm not 100% sure what the original was in the Shannon Airport, but I think it may be Powers, possibly. Ingredient number two, sugar. So you can use granulated sugar or uh, sugar cubes. Otherwise, if you make a syrup, it's gonna integrate into the drink very easily. Uh, you can use simple syrup. In my case, I'm using a Demerara. This is gonna add a little bit more complex flavors to the drink. And then you've got the coffee. Has to be good quality coffee to make a good quality Irish coffee. Anders sent me his bartender's blend, which he released not that long ago, uh, which is a blend of uh, Ethiopian and Guatemalan beans. And it exhibits like chocolate and tropical fruit notes. And he specifically designed this one for bartenders. So bartenders love drinking coffee and they also love using coffee in cocktails. And the Irish coffee was used as the baseline to test this blend of beans, multiple iterations to make sure that the coffee would work in cocktails. Then we have cream, heavy cream, full fat cream, and you have multiple ways that you can whip this or, or thicken it. You can either put it in a milkshake blender, like they do at the Buena Vista Cafe, more so if you're gonna be entertaining for groups of people and you're probably making like six or more at a time. Otherwise you can put it in a cocktail shaker and give it a shake for five to 10 seconds. If your shake is vigorous, the lower end, five seconds. If your shake is a little bit softer, then probably 10 seconds. Uh, otherwise, if you have a sauce bottle or a little plastic bottle like this, put in that and give it a quick shake before you wanna serve it, just enough to aerate it and thicken it a little bit. You can layer on top and you don't have to worry about using a spoon to layer it. You can just pour it straight from here really easily. Let's get on to making the drink. First, you want to start by tempering or preheating your coffee glass. This one here is the Libby Georgian. I don't know the product code. I'll leave that in the description below. If you do want this, this is the perfect vessel for an Irish coffee. Uh, so you want to preheat it by adding in some hot water. Now this, this is not sponsored by Yeti. This is one of my favorite items. I carry this with me in my van everywhere. Typically I use it for cold water, but uh, in this case I put boiling water. It's probably dropped a couple of degrees, so sitting about 95, which will make it perfect for making a, uh, a coffee. So add some of that hot water into the glass and set it aside. Now the best type of coffee to make is either going to be a pour over or a French press coffee. To make a stronger French press, I'm gonna measure out 24 grams of coffee beans to 300 milliliters of water. Now, if you like drinking French press or pour over coffees, this hand grinder is incredible. It's really, really good. If you want to drink espresso, it's not that great. Anything with a finer grind, it takes absolute ages to grind it. But something with a coarser grind like a French press, it works really well. So 24 grams of bartender's blend coffee beans and grind away. Smell is excellent. I love coffee. I love coffee. <laughs> to make French press, I'm going to add the ground coffee and then only add half of the amount of water that's required. So in this case, 150 milliliters. So five ounces. And then you want to let it rest for one minute for the coffee to bloom. So now that it's been sitting for one minute, you can add the remaining water, another 150 milliliters, another five ounces. Now that you've topped it with water, wait for three minutes. So the glass is preheated so we can tip out the water and make the drink. Start by measuring one ounce, 
30ml of your chosen Irish whiskey. Now of course you can use one and a half ounces, 45ml if you like. That's what I've used in the past. The Irish coffee hasn't really worked for me in the past. I don't typically like hot drinks, so I'm hoping coffee, a little bit less whiskey, uh, the different sugar with the added complexity, it's gonna make this a winner for me. So seven and a half mil of Demerara sugar. And the coffee is now ready to be plunged. And then you wanna add coffee. Make sure you leave a little bit of room at the top so you can float the cream. So roughly three, three and a half ounces, 90, 100 mil around that. Pour it in. And then as I said before, give the cream a shake, aerate it, whip it, not too thick though. And because I've got the little pourer, just easily layers on top. So there you have the Irish coffee using Tullamore Jude. Demerara syrup and freshly brewed bartender's blend coffee.